Alrighty, everybody. Are you ready? Are you here? Are you alive? Because I know I am. So, let's start off. It's week number 13. The, the season is coming to an end. Um, you know, obviously, we'll have some previews and stuff for, you know, the conference championships and stuff like that. Blah, blah. And rivalry week in the RB Navy. Um, on with maybe some FCS playoff predictions and stuff like that. Who knows? But um, said I was going to cover the bracket, but that's not that's not what's important at this moment. Up right now, we're going to talk about week thirteen, recapping it real quickly. Um, start off, we'll move on into the Saturday games first because those are more important. Now, Iowa State had a Good game last week against Texas. They struggled a little bit against against Kansas and less miles, but they got the job done. So, forty-one uh, thirty-one is the final there. Oklahoma State struggled. They're now injured. They now got a couple of injuries going into Bedlam. So, they still beat West Virginia um, only by seven, though. So, you know, Minnesota. It was the only other game that was really you know that had any meaning because you know Minnesota still fighting for a chance to get to the College World Playoff. And they beat Northwestern pretty handily. So now it'll be Minnesota versus Wisconsin. We'll talk about Wisconsin in a moment because they played it as well. Alabama beats their FCS opponent easily, Western Carolina. Um, Western Carolina only had three wins, so it didn't really matter for them at all. It was just a scrimmage. Same thing for Sanford. Um, they played Auburn. Didn't really matter at all. But when we get into the Penn State I Ohio State game, it was a interesting, interesting game. It looked like Ohio State was going to lose this game for about five minutes or so. But then, you know, J.K. Dobbins, Chase Young, especially Chase Young and, and Justin Fields, those, those those three came in and did what they needed to do to beat Penn State. 28-17. Penn State is now out of the playoff race for good. And Ohio State is going to the Big Ten championship game in Indianapolis on December the 7th. So, um, congrats, Ohio State. You have punched your ticket, and you did it in style. Dominant, dominant performance for most of this game, aside from, like, you know, the couple of times where Penn State thought they had a chance in it. <sighs> Moving on here, um, Iowa beat Illinois. Now, remember, Illinois is both else, but they gave Iowa a pretty good fight. But, you know, Iowa still won the game. Appalachian State cruises to a victory against Texas State. They are going to the Sun Belt Championship. No, it doesn't. No, we don't know who's going to host that game yet. Um, it'll be either them or Louisiana. Um, not Louisiana Lafayette anymore, but it'll be the. Appalachian State or Louisiana. Um, Notre Dame also destroyed Boston College. Really wasn't close. So um, they'll be looking to in their season right against Stanford. Um, USC did not play any sort of defense whatsoever against UCLA. <sighs> but they got they got the victory and they end their season eight and four. Now, the Pac twelve South is not decided yet. Keep in mind. Um Utah still has one game left, and Utah obviously dominated their game against Arizona. Um, just beat them down. Was not even close, you know, at all. But USC still has a chance. All Colorado has to do is beat Utah. Um, and then USC will get to play Oregon once again, the Pac-12 championship. Um, here's another interesting little tidbit. Navy, I told you to keep your eyes on Navy because of the Cincinnati-Memphis game now. And now the Cincinnati-Memphis game has a lot more meaning to it because if Memphis loses, we'll talk about we'll talk about all that good stuff in a minute. But anyway, Navy comes back from 21-10 down. And they beat SMU. SMU has been knocked out of the AAC West race, so... Navy is still in it. They only have one conference loss. Just because they lost to Notre Dame doesn't mean anything as far as the conference race goes. They could still go ahead and take that that, that New Year's Six bid away from somebody. Uh, Virginia Tech shuts out Pittsburgh, shuts them out. 
it, it, it was bad. Really, really bad. Um, and so now it'll be Virginia Tech versus Virginia to decide, you know, the um, the coastal. Because the Atlantic is already wrapped up by Clemson. Um, Baylor punches their ticket to the Big 12 championship. It was a disgusting performance by the Longhorns. We are now 6-5 on the season. Baylor is 10-1. And, um, and honestly, Baylor should have two losses, but we're not going to talk about that Texas Tech game anymore. Uh, but, you know, Baylor dominated this game. Was not even close at all. We got a garbage time touchdown to end the game. Now the Longhorns, uh, the season is looking pretty bad right now. Um, you know, to only have six wins to go for is just disgusting. A disgusting performance by this defense. And this offense did not get anything going at all. Charlie Brewer did just enough to get the victory against the Longhorns. Sad to say, sad to say that the Texas Longhorn season is over, pretty much. Yeah, we'll probably go to a bowl game, but you know, the season is just, ugh, it's just over. It's so gross. Um, Georgia, still not very convincing. You know, they only beat Texas A&M by six, the 19 to 13. You know, the offense just isn't convincing. Now, that defense, however, is very, very convincing. My goodness, the way they held Texas a and A&M got a touchdown late, but it was like 11 minutes left of the fourth quarter, and then after that, A&M couldn't do anything at all. So Georgia's defense is really something. Michigan has gotten hot at the right time. You know, the big game is this week. And they beat Indiana 39-14. Pretty bad, pretty bad score right there for Indiana. You know, thought we were going to have a nine-win Indiana. Probably not. Wisconsin also just beats the brakes off of Purdue. Again, Wisconsin and Minnesota, they'll be fighting for the Big Ten West title and to go take on Ohio State. Memphis destroys South Florida again. You know, um, it'll be them. And it'll be Cincinnati, whose offenses, whose offenses struggled mightily. Now these two teams could face each other again in two weeks' time. You know they could face each other this weekend and the next weekend. So, but Cincinnati really struggled against Temple. They only won by two points. You know, was not close. Was not close at all. LSU. LSU, their offense was just clicking on all cylinders. You knew Arkansas didn't have a chance, but Arkansas still scored 20 points on them. So, you know, that's a little cause for concern. You know, if you want a dominant offense, you got to have a dominant defense as well. So, that takes care of that. <sighs> Excuse me. It's been a slow day today. So, um, before we talk about the big upset, Let's talk about Oklahoma real quick. Now, Oklahoma has not looked good at all. Um, I don't think this team is going to go anywhere. In fact, I think they might lose one of their final two games before. Now, it could be either the Big 12 championship or it could be Bedlam. I'm banking on Bedlam, maybe. Maybe. I say maybe because, you know, uh, there was a little bit of ref ball in this game once again. Another Oklahoma game decided by ref ball. This time it was not even, I'm not even sure what the call was anymore. It was, it was like a phantom penalty that just did not happen at all. And TCU gets the shaft on it. You know, they, that it was like, I can't remember exactly what it was. I want to say it was like a pass interference that wasn't a pass interference, but I can't remember exactly what the penalty was. I'll have to look it up later. But in the, but in the end, Oklahoma gets the victory against TCU. They are also going to the Big 12 championship game, so that locks up the Big 12. It is now over. The race for the Big 12 title is now over. Now, um, again, let's keep on going here. 
still got a couple of games left here, and it'll be Boise State taking on Hawaii in the Mountain West Championship. Boise State gets the victory against Utah State, and Hawaii beats San Diego State by three. San Diego State only had 11 points. Ugh, so gross. And finally, let's let's talk about the Oregon game because Oregon is out of the Pac-12. Well, not the Pac-12 race. They are in the Pac-12 championship, of course. But I'm referring to the playoff race. They are out of that now. With two losses, you do not have a chance to go into the playoff. There is no way. Um, not yet. I don't think a two-loss team will go to the playoffs yet. That that takes a lot of time. There's only like three one-loss teams or three undefeated or something like that. And there's no that there's no other one-loss teams. There's only like one or two or three one-loss teams, no undefeated. Yeah, it takes a lot to get a two-loss team into the playoff. And it is not gonna happen with Oregon. They got they just got destroyed by Arizona State. Now you say what you want. The score is a lot closer than the game indicated because Arizona State balled out. They went crazy. They are bowl eligible. Steve had a lot hanging in the balance in the beginning of the season, but they've gotten their act together at the right time. And Herm Edwards, congrats, buddy. You're going bowling. Take your team to the bowl. Take your team to a bowl game, son. You know, you are you are doing great things out there in the desert. Because this upset is just it was it was coming. It was gonna come at some point. I, I guarantee you it was gonna come. And Oregon just didn't have an answer at all. Herbert was struggling out there through several bad interceptions in this game as well. Like some of these were just awful. Like he had a throw that was like he threw it just straight to the Arizona State defender. What's not what were you thinking? What were you thinking, man? So, now, there's only a few contenders left, honestly. Maybe about seven or eight. Of course, we're probably not including Baylor in this because, you know, um, Baylor just doesn't have, what well, just doesn't have enough, you know. Or at least that's what the committee's thinking. That's probably what the committee's thinking. Baylor probably doesn't have enough where they can, you know, just get down into the playoff positioning. So two loss Oklahoma serves no purpose um, for Baylor. But, yeah, um, it's week 13 in a nutshell, you know. Um, it was kind of a boring slate for the most part. Um, there wasn't a lot, you know, like completely going on. Um most because of the cupcake games and some games were just like, ugh. like you only had Ohio State, Penn State to watch in that twelve o'clock window, um, and you only had A and M, Georgia in, in that two thirty window. But once we got to the once we got to the nightcap, you know it was it was good, it was some good stuff. You know you had Oregon get beat up by Arizona State, you had TCU fighting to the limits against Oklahoma, so. Yeah, that's going to do it, y'all. Um, that's week 13 in a nutshell. You know, again, that's that's all I've got for this one. And, you know, um, not a lot not a lot to really say else because it just is what it is. So that's going to do it. I'll take care. We'll see you guys in a few moments for the week 14 preview. Peace.